friends welcome to gomenjobspreparation.com my name is preeti and today our chapter is simplification part 2 let's see the questions our first question is root 3 root 3 root 3 and root 3 to solve this question we have this formula here is written a a is the number which is written under the root that is 3 n is the number of roots we have four number of roots and when we solve this question we get and this is the answer to solve this question we have a trick also always write two and number of roots we have four number of roots and we get 16 Now put this three here and write down this sixteen as a denominator, and the numerator should be one less than denominator. That is this. So this is the answer. Now question number second is as same as question number one. Now again put this formula. and this is the answer okay again do this question with a trick take 2 as a number now we have three number of roots put three here and we get 8 now write down this number which is given under the root put this 8 as a denominator and numerator should be one less than denominator that is 7 so this is the answer fine Question number three is entirely different from question number one and question number two. These questions have question mark, but this question goes infinitive, right? When question goes infinitive, so our answer is the same number which is written under the root that is six. So our answer is six. Question number four. To solve this question. First, we have to factor the number, and the difference between the factors should be one always. So, if we do two into six, this is the factor of twelve, but the difference between the number is not one, so this is wrong. If we do four into three, four into three is the factor of twelve, and the difference between the number is one. so this is the right factor and whenever we are given the sign of addition our answer should be the largest number always that is 4 so 4 is the answer fifth question is as same as question number 4 we have to factor the number and the difference between the factors should be one always so take the factor that is 8 into 9 8 into 9 is equal to 72 and the difference between the numbers is 1 when we had the sign of addition our answer would be the largest number but when we are given the sign of minus our answer would be the smallest number that is 8 so our answer is 8 right now last question has a different numbers so this type of question we start from the end we can see 49 is the perfect square of 7 so add this 7 in 29 we get 36 36 is a perfect square of 6 add this 6 with 19 we get 25 and 25 is a perfect square of 5 add this 5 with 11 and 16 is a perfect square of 4 add this 4 with 5 we get 9 And nine is the perfect square of three, so three is the right answer. First question में हम ये formula भी put कर सकते हैं और हमारे पास ये trick भी है हम हमेशा दो number लेंगे two लेंगे जितने हमारे पास root है उतनी power उसको solve करेंगे सिक्सटीन उसके बाद जो हमारे पास given number है root में थ्री ये सिक्सटीन यहाँ जाएगा और उसके ऊपर एक number कम होगा जो नीचे होगा उससे 
उसी तरह जब ये रूट में नंबर्स होंगे और नंबर हमारा जो क्वेश्चन है वो इन्फिनेट तक जा रहा होगा तो हमारा आंसर वही नंबर होगा जो रूट के अंदर दिया हुआ है फोर्थ क्वेश्चन में हमें फैक्टर करना है फैक्टर वो करने है जिन दो नंबर का डिफरेंस एक हो जैसे कि 3 into 4 is equal to 12 and difference is 1 जब कभी भी प्लस का साइन होगा हमारा आंसर बड़े वाला नंबर होगा जब कभी भी माइनस साइन होगा फैक्टर में से जो छोटा नंबर है वो हमारा आंसर होगा इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस में हमें पीछे से स्टार्ट करना है और आगे आते आते हमारा आंसर आ जाएगा ये थी सेकंड टाइप सिंपलीफिकेशन की कीप वाचिंग एंड कीप स्टडी थैंक यू सो मच